the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by attending a church service in Wizrock, Linden. The church is a symbol and a building, but greater and deeper is the meaning of the church, the foundation of the church, and the establishment of the church. And the church is established on a foundation that seek to uplift people, that seek to bring hope to the wounded, that seek to create in our societies the values and ethics and morals that are pleasing to God. In the afternoon, President Ali visited 58 miles to address the concerns of residents and to discuss several developmental projects. That is what we are building for you. We are thinking ahead of time. We are building and working hard to give you the best possible life as we move forward into the future. So my friends, you will also be an important point as we develop the regional food hub because we know we are working towards becoming a major supplier of, of food. And I know many of you know about the corn and soy project that we are doing. All of that will be integrated and come back to support you and support your community. President Irfan Ali also visited a number of communities in Region 10, including Waruni, Moratario, and Malali, where he announced several interventions for the infrastructure and agriculture sectors. On Tuesday, President Irfan Ali led the Prime Minister of Barbados, the Honorable Mia Motley, and Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Philip Pierre, on a visit to two transformational projects at the National Agricultural Research and Extension Institute, NARI, in Monrepo on the east coast of Damarara. During the visit, the head of state toured the large hydroponic facility, onion farm, and shade houses, where high-value crops such as cauliflower, kale, habanero, lettuce, cucumbers, and chilies are being produced. With the African Export Import Bank, Afri Exim Bank, poised to fund the establishment of a Caribbean transportation system, His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali has once again urged members of the regional private sector to unite and craft a proposal, positioning themselves as catalysts for the region's economic advancement. The head of state issued this call in his keynote address at the commencement of the second edition of the Afri Caribbean Trade and Investment Forum at the Guyana Marriott Hotel. Afri Exim Bank has assured us that they are ready to examine a proposal from the regional private sector to present this solution. Every single state in CARICOM has made it clear that we will give all the incentives necessary to facilitate the building of a regional transport infrastructure system to solve the problem of regional transport. It is in your hands now. His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali and First Lady Arya Ali hosted a reception in honor of the visiting Afri-Caribbean Trade and Investment Forum delegations on the lawns of State House on Monday evening. Guyana has made significant strides in achieving gender equality and has accomplished far beyond the 2030 agenda, driven by the government's strategic policies and initiatives. President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali made the revelation in his feature address at the opening ceremony of the inaugural Ministerial Forum on Gender Equality and Empowerment, titled Shared Experiences Towards Developing Robust National and Regional Models for the 2030 Agenda. Over the last three years, the number of female contractors and female-owned companies has increased significantly. This came as a result of our strong focus on technical education among women, our focus through the WIND program on skills development, our focus through the heavy-duty operator programs where women are uh, given the opportunity. This came out of a policy matrix that supported and empowered them to believe, decide, and operate in that environment. We have gone far beyond the 2030 agenda in Guyana. Far beyond. And it's not by accident. By the time the world set the 2050 agenda, we'll achieve the 2050 agenda.
On Wednesday, President Irfan Ali accepted the letters of credence from the non-resident High Commissioner of Barbados, His Excellency David Comishong, at State House. During brief remarks following the accreditation, President Ali said he looks forward to building on the bilateral foundation already established with Barbados. He noted that Guyana would continue to work with Barbados to strengthen relations in agriculture, trade and commerce, and housing, among other areas. His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali interacted with patrons at the Guyana Defense Force, GDF, and Ministry of Agriculture's Farmers Market on the Sinjin Road on Saturday morning. The President congratulated the initiative and said that he enjoyed seeing families, young and old, out together enjoying the market experience. We have to go beyond the concept of the farmers market. What is very interesting and what I enjoy the most here is to see families, the children, their parents, grandparents, out together experiencing the market. I think this is a good example as to what makes us Guyanese having that market experience, having that family experience going to the market. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next time.